Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to my Great Britain playthrough where we've got King Edward here, we're trying to get the Dominions back this episode hopefully and just a wee disclaimer guys, obviously I'm sitting down and just recording full playthroughs just in one go so I won't be able to, you know, take comments into, um, into consideration on the episodes but I'm just going to keep spamming videos out so, um, yeah, thanks again to Paradox for the, uh, the lovely preview copy Thank you very much. Um, right now, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I need to kind of get sorted with the Navy a little bit more. It's still a little bit new, so obviously it is. Uh, the Mer Mexican Junta was annexed, so the fascists have lost, and the non-aligned are still in charge. Now, we do not want to form any of these civil wars just yet, because I kind of want my troops to be in positions. So what we're actually going to do is, because I don't know how many troops are going to get, you know, going to form with the uprisings. So what we're going to do is, we're going to send 18, I'm just going to go ahead and grab these. 18 divisions are going to go to Canada, in the Labrador. I don't know if that's going to be too many divisions to handle, but we're going to do that. And they're going to help out wherever the loyalists pop up. We'll have, right now... I think we need additional divisions over in India. Because it could be a hefty war here. Uh, we'll also go ahead and start producing 18 divisions to go and take care of um, Africa, South Africa. So we'll get them in Plymouth and we'll move them out. As for Australia and New Zealand, they're going to be bits of, a, a bit of a pain of a nuisance. They do have zero ships, they have 11, so we could just decimate their fleet pretty easily. We'll probably use the island over here, Fiji, yeah, which is also releasable, nice. Um, Naval Invade New Zealand, who only have six divisions max at this time. Naval Invade them, then Naval Invade Australia from New Zealand, I think that's a good plan. Or we could maybe Naval Invade from Malaya. Right now, focus is on India. India just needs to... Uh, become ours again. Let's go to the uh, partial mobilization. Uh, we do need 100 political power for those. So we need to save up our political power actually, but we get 1.33 a day, so that's good. Right, we are ready for war I think, so yeah, the other six divisions have just arrived. Let's go ahead and launch that. Let's declare war. Puppet focus on them. No thank you. So, can I actually unlock this again? Yeah, they have to be in the faction. Right, that's fine. Right, so let's go ahead and get rid of the war to end all wars right now while we're doing this. Okay, a very successful naval invasion. And now what we need to do is we need to just go aggressive and just dominate this. Yes, I exactly wanted them to do that and just break the whole front already. So Bombay is the capital right now. Okay. That's not exactly what I want. I do want guys to push south as well. So we just grab like these three. Hopefully we shouldn't run into too... Well, they've not got... Oh my days. The fuel consumption's down greatly right now. Probably because of this Navy operating. Yeah, the Navy's using 2.3k a day. We could probably just tell them to uh, dock themselves. Yeah, that's, that's sorry, that right out. Okay, it would appear there's no divisions on here, but I do still want to mop it up. So we can go ahead and just declare war on Burma and also Pakistan as well. Obviously, we shall do both of those. Get him to just go ahead and grab that. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We are slightly short of guns. Austria has just been unschlussed. So Germany is going to be dealing with Czechoslovakia very soon. And if you've seen the last episode, the little entente formed. So it could be about to get pretty messy. Pretty messy indeed. Okay, this is going pretty well right now. How many divisions you got now? You've got 30 max. Yeah, that's 
progressing very nicely. India might be close to capitulate. No, they're not really. Oh, Delhi's been retaken by them. I was going to say, we could have sent the whole army over here. It might have sped things up. But I think we should manage with 18. Just because my other 18 is already ready in Canada for the, uh, the invasion. And now we've also got the 18 heading out to South Africa. Now, of course, I will get a small invasion force ready for... Um, oh, they've pieced out. I'll get five and five. Oh, my days, I only have six divisions now. Yeah, I'll get ten divisions. Five to head... Oh, no, we'll just hit ten. No, we're do, we said we're going to do a wee bunny hopping. Like, um, from Fiji to New Zealand to Australia. That's the plan. I think I might get some more fuel dumps. Maybe turn Ireland. Actually, no. Scotland. Scotland can be our fuel dump, since the North Sea oil isn't in this. Go ahead and build more military factories, and we'll go ahead and a bin of that. I think we'll just go ahead and just declare war on them. They have got zero divisions in Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan still have a lot. We're not going to declare war on them right now. Right, the war to end all wars is gone. Grand. Um, let's go ahead. We could do general rearmament. That might be worthwhile. Is there anything else over here? Oh, I want to see what this does. Isolate the Mediterranean threat. So we're going to try and get Germany to screw over the Italians. Okay, Delhi will probably maybe kill them. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, though. I've only got, they've got two military factors as well. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And that division's dead. Obviously, India will not be getting their freedom now because we'll want them to become part of the Imperial Federation if we can even, you know, get to that during this playthrough. If things go wrong with getting the other dominions back. Can you just run straight to Delhi, please? I think that would really help us out. Right, um, we're working nicely on all that. Let's go ahead and get concentrated in Industry 3 a little bit ahead of time. Mm, 24 division max. Not got many military factories, so that's good. Yeah, India's about to capitulate. India is now back with us. Great. Now the question is, how many Pakistan divisions are over here? They are in Africa right now. We're going to send them out to help uh, reclaim the rest of India. I just, I'm a little concerned that they might have a decent amount over here and I just start to lose. Which we don't want to see happening this early into the playthrough. It's only episode two. Alright, so we are saving up political power. Um... Gonna have to. Oh geez, we're gonna need 400 political power. We're not gonna change anything. It would be nice to go to war economy actually, but let's just leave that for now. Italy abandons the naval treaty. We knew that was gonna happen. Republican Spain has died. We should also leave the treaty, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Oh, that's so great. So great. Non-aligned support is getting quite, quite high, which is nice. Right, so the additional divisions have come over to cover Pakistan. Japan's also abandoned the naval treaty. They're all going to abandon it. Let's see what Germany says. Oh my days. The German informs us that they've cut off diplomatic relations with Italy. Oh, do we, we'll wait a little bit longer before we decide on that. Non-core manpower plus 10%. Oh, that's great. Um, we won't do that just yet. What we'll do is we'll go back over here and do um, general rearmament. Italian diplomatic isolation. Oh, Italy. Mussolini, what are you going to do, pal? I don't actually think there's any divisions over there. Oh, yeah, there's, there's no divisions over there. Well, that's just great, I guess. Fantastic. Well, they can go and deal with Burma, I guess. Let's go for integrated support. And 
let's just draw that in there. Do they still have zero divisions? They have one division. Still a bit harsh on them, invading them with 12. Not really struggling with Pakistan. They are got a wee division pushing that way, but... Grab that. I really need to get the Air Force actually out and doing stuff. Okay, if I draw that, that's not really going to work 100%, but I can micromanage this. <laughs> okay, Germany is now at war with the French Entente Alliance, and Romania has decided to join it. Okay, I'll be interested to see what happens there, but world tension is only at 33%. Okay. It's going to get much higher, thanks to me and Germany on the warpath. Peshar... Peshar... Peshawar? I don't know how to say it. I do apologise. Um, let's go to Folsom. Get some more anti-tank. Yep, right. Pakistan's dead now. Take all states. Right, let's go ahead and take ten of you guys. Do we have anybody that's done a naval invasion? No, but Miles is looking pretty good. I'm going to take Miles here. get ready to invade New Zealand. The fleet that's currently in India will be used for this. So we'll send it over to that dock right now. Alright, so they'll move up there. Burma is falling slowly. Oh my days, the fuel is not looking too great. Try to declare war on China. We knew it was going to happen at some point. There's a division stuck there. Yeah, it's just just gonna they're gonna die as soon as uh, Rangon Rangoon Rangoon's gone. Does the army use fuel when they're traveling? They don't unless it comes as navy. I'm not actually using any apparently right now. Um. Oh, do we want the SAS? Special forces aren't really something to use. I'm gonna go for that research slot right now. We don't really use. I don't really use special forces. Why did I blow the Suez Canal? It just doesn't make sense. Unless it was the fall, then yes, I'd bomb it. There we go, Burma's gone as well now. Take all the states. Lovely. Yes, we have caused... Oh, we've only caused 10%. Right, so now that India's back over, so we'll head back over to South Africa with this lot. These 12 can... Hmm. Good question. They can just, I don't know, we'll just leave them where they are right now. Um, right, we're getting a decent amount of political power. We just need to wait a little bit longer. Another um, 115 days, I think. Right, we have got some more dockyards as well. We'll just put that in the convoy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I do apologize for the cold. Do you want to get naval bombers? Hmm. I think we do. I think we'll go for production like that. At least 5,000. Oh, my days. We're going to have to store up a lot of equipment here. That's 20,000 guns we need. It appears Yugoslavia has also joined the alliance now. Um, Germany seems to be managing okay currently. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the current casualties of that war. Uh, they've only lost 94,000. Czechoslovakia has lost a lot. France hasn't lost too much, but then again, it's just an imaginable line, isn't it? And of course, the West Wall has not been built. Of course it's not. Why wouldn't it not be built? Hitler don't need no forts. Every time phone, every time. Right, the channel scheme is done. Let's go ahead and grab the industrial effort. Two 100% bonuses to industry. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh. Okay. I'm going to see what that does. Right, is this ready to go? That is ready to go. We just need to get a navy kind of... Doing the escorting.
Right, so that's ready to go. I think we're ready to just go ahead and do that focus next. Because by the time it's finished, we will have enough political power. Just saying that. I love how we can cancel it now. So we'll just cancel that. It saves the progress. And we'll go ahead and just grab those. We're not ready though, we don't have enough guns. Unless I'd bin these 12 divisions that currently aren't doing anything, that might give us some guns, because currently we use a thousand, so there's 12, so that's 12,000, which will put us up to very close indeed. To be honest, we don't need Australia straight away anyways. Yeah, let's, let's, Richard, you will be back, we'll just bin those. Yeah, 17,000, so we're not too far away. We don't need Australia to do anything right now, um, like revolt. So we've got the Chinese United Front, which Communist China, XP, not XP, some the Yangtze clique and Xinjiang have all joined. We have enough PP now. We need to bring those dominions back into the fold. Oh, 14 divisions is going to be enough. It should be. Plus the, revo uh, the Civil War as well. Definitely help us out. 10 divisions should be enough for New Zealand, hopefully. They've got five. Just depends where all station. Um... Canada, Canada has 15, we have, wait, we have 42 max, we've got eight, well 42, but uh, we've got 18 over here, supply is horrendous though, 18 might have been a bit overkill, um, can we quickly get some more, oh the infrastructure is absolutely pathetic, let's get that sorted right now, um, I think we're good for this, I think we're good, so do they actually have to be like free for us to go down? The um, I'm hoping we'll just be able to bypass that and just go straight. Oh, we need them to be puppets. We need them to be puppet. Rise of Great Britain. Yeah, we'll need them to be puppets by the looks of things. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we, we can go ahead and do it. Let's just hope this doesn't, you know, backfire. Uh, so what do we want to grab now? Do we want to do any alliance? Unite the Anglosphere. Oh, jeez, the United States. Sun never sets. That'd be nice to grab, actually. I think we'll just leave it for now. I want to go back and grab that research slot. So we'll go ahead and grab you. Oh, the progress was not saved. Um, oh wait, progress was saved probably on like how far I got along, so like 70 days, so I'll save the 10 days progress and then the other focus uses it. Right, are we ready for this? <coughs> are we really ready for this? We do have 20,000 guns now, I'm not going to start them all at the same time. Um, New Zealand? Okay, it's going to take 90 days. South Africa and Canada, let's, let's do it. 90 days. 90 days is going to kick off. Naval invasion's ready, invasion of South Africa's ready, and the invasion of Canada's ready. It's going to give us more time to sort out uh, the whole supply issue. <laughs> German records claimed Memel. I think they must have got it as well. They did indeed, but France currently naval invasion over there. Romania's falling now. Let's go ahead and research the Crusader. And let's go ahead and just continue to build up some more military factories. Might get some more civvies. As well. We do have a hundred... We don't... I don't know if we need civvies, actually. A couple more. Um, they're suffering from Great Depression, which is nice. Um, I guess we just got to wait. And we do still have some political power. We could go ahead and just start that once we've landed in uh, New Zealand. That's if we land successfully. We declare war on one of them, we're going to war with all of them, so... We definitely will have to puppet them though, because I, I think it might break the Imperial Federation. Because I kind of want the whole difference. Without autonomy, India will not accept. Haha, India is not going to be a problem. I don't know how this will work if we have them all annexed, so... Yeah, we're probably going to have to need them all. Could go here, Spain. Give them unaligned support. 
Hmm. Anyways, the research slot. <laughs> right. How many more days now? 22 days. I think I'm going to go ahead and get ourselves an infantry expert. Kenneth Anderson here. Just initiate them all to go. Maybe not the Canadian one, actually. It just depends on where these, like, uh, the Civil War is going to kick off. I might actually go ahead and rush that with a bonus. That'll be quite handy. So you have to War Plan Black. Okay. The Nova Zealanda, the Unitary South Africa, and the Free Canadian Republic. Okay. Oh, the Imperious Canada spawned that side. Right. How many divisions? Oh, surely. We don't want to declare war on them, though. We've got... Apparently... Oh, that's finished in 30 days. Right, so what we'll do is... We'll declare war on Australia. Not in Australia, New Zealand. Who now have three divisions. Yes, Imperial Civil Wars. He 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 he. We're just gonna go straight into them, I think. They are at war with me. I just need to probably micro this due to the uh, the levels of supply. Yeah, that's looking good, boys. Looking good. Hopefully, this invasion will go n great. Oh, what the hell? They attacked attack on the HMS Ladybird. How dare they? Okay, we've successfully landed in New Zealand, so to Wellington we go. Off we go. Off we trot. Just in case there's a division chilling down there, let's go ahead and do that. Hello, we'll accept that. Sydney Holland, we shall definitely accept that. Shadow Scheme Factory is taken in use. The careful preparations we took in the Shadow Scheme to ease the transition of our civilian factories to full wartime industry have now paid off. The new factories are already much more efficient than could reasonably have been expected within the time frame. So we've got four military factories. They're asking for docking rights. They can have that. Um, we'll definitely not hop up to war economy. Because we can't. How is Canada doing? No, oh, XP Sama has joined. How is South Africa looking? They weren't ready completely, so right now you need to deal with that. You come in there. We'll accept these as well. They should hopefully join my faction, but then we'll have to go through the whole process of getting them to get them to join back in the fold. Unless they'll just become ally. Oh, they become puppets. Boom, boom, boom. Right, initial aid, right. Now what we need to do, boom, 90 days. Great Britain allies, Imperialist, Canadian, Imperial Royalists, the South African and New Zealand. Right, Wellington, hello there. Let's go ahead and land right in Sydney. Nine divisions, hopefully that'll be much, much less when, um, when we invade, well, we'll get ready to invade. Anyway. So let's go ahead and actually get some uh, research on the doctrines for the Navy. And we've got some more factories that we will need to distribute. Zog submitted to Italy. No surprise there, really. Didn't realise Imperialist Canada actually had control down there. It would appear the Canadians are probably trying to deal with this. Munis in the army. Oh, stability and war support are not too great right now. Um, we're going to have to take that. Luckily, we've already done the Aussie part down here, so that's good. Oh, the London Naval Treaty is gone. That's what that we uh, escalator clause evoked. So we can now build whatever the hell we want. The mutinies are going to kind of hurt us a little bit over in Canada. That's for sure. South Africa is looking not too great. I, I don't know why I'm bordered on um, the wrong South Africa. Um, but that will sort it out. No, I just need to take the capital. That should pretty much be over. I like their flags. Yunnan's joined the Chinese United Front. 67 days until the Australians go into civil war. 
got that extra research slot. Let's go ahead and grab the Royal Ordnance Factories, which can give us six more military factories. Not like we really need factories now, we're doing pretty well. Um, we'll definitely want to go ahead and get some more upgrades to our ships and probably just focus on getting our navy, um, I guess, much, much stronger. France is still... Germany is men. They're doing a meh job right now. Uh, as long as they don't start declaring war on everybody else, it'll be fine. Canada seems to have gone on holiday. Malia, I didn't want your divisions, thank you. Okay, the naval invasion is going to be ready, which is going to be good. We will have to move our Oh, we don't need to move the navy at all. Right, the Crusader's been researched, so we'll probably go ahead and... Production. I do want to go for the tanks, just to actually try them out. So let's go ahead and research them. Medium tanks in uh, production. Come on, boys, need you to move forward. Do not dilly-dally. Mutants in the army. Oh, patri patriotic speech, come on, we need this to go away. The Canadians are holding out against us. And they're mopping up Imperials Canada right now. Just run your ass to Ottawa. Pass through Quebec. Montreal, I don't know what, nice. And um, we'll have to go and take Halifax as well. Okay, that's 20 days away. 20 days until we restore order in the military, hopefully. Um, come on, boys. I expect better from you, Claude. Go aggressive. Um, any promotions available to any of my generals currently? We have infantry expert. Fantastic. That'll do it for him. And Miles has done nothing right now. Right, Toronto now. You, sir. One of you guys. I need you to go to Halifax. In Canada, Africa's gone as well. Near enough. The Emu Empire. Lovely. So that's what can be initiated now. Not the greatest support ever for them, but that's South Africa gone. Now, have hopefully been a good enough distraction. Yeah, you can have port rights, I guess. The BSA company, let's grab that. It's going to help with the uh, infantry equipment production cost, which is going to be quite handy for us. We'll sort these factories out later. What are we fighting for? Yes, mutinies is gone, so we're back up to uh, full fighting strength, really, with the recovery rate and everything. It would appear our troops are also getting into the nice, you know, actually infrastructured parts of Canada now, since we've all pushing nicely down here now. Winnipeg is quite far away, but oh well. We have successfully landed next to Sydney, and we've now taken Sydney, so we've got 10 divisions now, hopefully going to be able to take all the Aussies. Canberra's right there as well, which is quite handy for us. It'd be a pain if we do have to travel the whole... Oh no, Perth is under imperialist control right now, which is good. So we definitely want to quickly take Australia before... Um... Oh! Ha 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 ha, imperialist. Australia rejoins the empire. He he he. We have... We have them all back. Good, good, good. Why would we need a non-aggression pact? I'm sorry, but that is the most randomest thing ever. Poland, actually, we're not aligned. Poland wants us to join the Mitsi Mori. Do, <laughs> do I join the Mitsi Mori? Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to. I don't really join the Mitsi Mori. We could. Yeah, do you know what? Stuff it. <laughs> We've joined the Mitsi Mori. Um, I guess next episode, guys, I'll probably just. Do you know what? Let's just cancel. Actually, shall we just keep it? No, we'll cancel this. We'll just cancel this focus. And we'll go ahead and just start doing Commonwealth ties. So what kind of puppets do they start off as? They are integrated puppets. So we quickly want to go ahead and just grab this. Uh, we will definitely want to start saving up some political power. 
Um, that should be fine now since we won't have the mutinies to deal with. Um, Romania has died, and um, Germany's starting to, I think, win over here. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back very soon for some more. Take care. Cheers, bye for now.